Hi, Bob Grenier here, a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. It's a quick update with regard to fixing Fukushima. I just got notification from our Japanese colleague who had got a response out of Nine Sigma, who are the organization that you submit your proposals for dealing with the radioactive tritium-laced water at Fukushima. And they said, yes, the uh, call is ending on Friday, I thought Thursday, whenever it is, the 30th Friday. Um, and uh, but not to worry, there is another call um, uh, starting on the 1st of October for the same call. So um, whether that's because they didn't get enough response on this call, I don't know. But uh, this does mean that we have more time. And I, uh, you know, it would be very tempting to try and get a call in in this call. But given the fact that they've had calls since uh, 2014, and uh, they they're still sitting on this. Uh, let's let's build a tunnel and uh, uh, dilute and uh, uh, pollute. Um, there is probably a good argument to be made that we should really do this properly. So I think that we have uh, a very very good case. Uh, we have a solution where we need to kind of tie a bit of the details together, and I really want to make. Uh, um, it, a very succinct argument where every single comment that is made is 100% verifiable by published data and uh, that our work has brought all that data together into a coherent, uh, to coin a phrase, um, uh, understanding of the technology so that um, when people peer review our proposal they can't say oh well they said this and therefore you, you, you know that's uh, not correct and so um, then what else isn't correct about their proposal so I think that's um, uh, my view on this uh, those people that have already helped uh, thank you um, but it, it, you know it, it takes the pressure off a little bit but I, I think uh, like I say if you had more time you could have written a short shorter letter and I think that's probably where we want to be. It needs to be absolutely watertight, it needs to be straight to the point and focusing on the very most important facts. We don't want to be losing people <clears throat> that <clears throat> are potential decision makers uh, and we want to be able to package this information in a way that we can also use it for um, uh, looking at uh, promoting the concept that we've proposed with other stakeholders like the uh, Chinese and uh, the uh, South Koreans uh, who don't want this tritium water being released and also um, the fishermen and local communities in uh, Fukushima uh, um, prefecture. Um, that probably would be interested in uh, not just having this thing diluted offshore but completely dealt with. And it would be a great story that uh, Japanese technology solved a Japanese problem and then that technology could then come out to the world. It's an international problem and we can help them if they're willing to be helped with international thinking and support but based on Japanese ideas and technologies. So that's the quick update for today. Thank you for all those that answered the, the uh, call yesterday um, and I think it's worth uh, building the, out this uh, Google document uh, uh, and doing it in a more um, uh, careful and structured way over the course of the next month um, or rather I, I, I would say probably two to three weeks let, let, let's focus that so we we have it well within the uh, October call period so thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video